We live in a democracy, right? Some might say the greatest democracy in the world. Maintaining our democracy depends on informed and engaged citizens. In order to make our democracy work for we the people, civic engagement or community participation must be a part of our lives. In this country, we often pride ourselves on our individualism. However, this individualism can isolate us, and it's a pretty unproductive mode for effecting change. For many of us, our response to individualism is to come together. In a nutshell, civic engagement is community involvement. It's that something that brings us all together to resolve problems that impact each one of us. We see the need for change, and by acting together, we can be the change. But where did this whole notion come from? The Frenchman, Alexis de Tocqueville, way back in the 1830s, when our democracy was still young, provided one of the most insightful commentaries about American society ever written. He noted that we were the most individualistic society in human history. To describe just how independent and self-directed we were, he coined the term individualism. On the plus side, de Tocqueville noted that we often overcame our individualistic tendencies with our uncanny knack for building community. And in observing our country, he wrote, voluntary associations or groups of individuals sprang up everywhere to solve practical problems, move for political change, and to engage other citizens in addressing issues of public concern. Some of the most powerful political reforms in the nation's history can be attributed to people's involvement in civic organizations. For example, during the civil rights movement of the 1960s, African American leaders organized boycotts, sit-ins, and marches against legalized forms of racial discrimination. The outcome? A whole slew of laws promoting racial equality. Other monumental political reforms are the abolition of slavery, a woman's right to vote, and the ability of workers to bargain collectively. Very powerful stuff. And at the root of this, you guessed it, an actively engaged population. Perhaps this all sounds a little intimidating, a little too organized. However, being civically engaged doesn't require being part of a structured group or movement. Honestly, it's about people being connected and caring about each other and trying to better themselves, their neighborhood, and their community. If you have an overarching belief in the power of democracy, then you are already civically engaged. You know that together we can do anything. Organizing a neighborhood potluck, donating to charity, voting or speaking to your friends about a burning local issue. These are all forms of civic engagement. You mean reading this newspaper is civic engagement? Yes. I'm hosting my book group this month. Civic engagement. See these guys on the street? They'll get you registered to vote in seconds. You are civically engaged, my friend. Civic engagement, or community participation, is really not a mystery. It's all around us, all the time. It's about improving the community we live in. If there's an issue that directly affects you, it's an opportunity for you to be an agent of change, to have an impact on the issues you care about. One voice screaming in the wilderness might make you feel better, but that voice probably won't get heard. If you join with some like-minded people, you can build a community of similar interest to address a common cause. Before you know it, you'll be doing something that not only makes you feel good, but is of real worth to your community. Maybe that means writing a letter to your representative, working a couple of hours in the community, or even working with your local government on urban revitalization efforts. The opportunities are endless. So, this great democracy we live in has to be maintained by we the people. But guess what? You can be a little individualistic about this. Most people start on the road to being civically engaged because they rally around an issue that directly affects them. Civic engagement doesn't have to be full time. Just a little of your time can reap a huge benefit for the greater good. The common denominator is plain and simple. Civic engagement works. One real easy way that you can help maintain this democracy is by being actively involved. So, what do you care about? No, really, there's gotta be something. So, come on, get up out of your chair, check out these great resources, and get civically engaged. <laughs>